Hello, everybody. Uh, today's lesson is about vectors, or you can call forces, because forces can be considered as vectors. The question is, I have three vectors acting at one point, and they are in equilibrium. The magnitudes of the three vectors are not given, but the angles between them are given. Here is the diagram. Three vectors, P, Q, R. If you consider the vectors as forces, these three forces are acting at a single point here. And they are in equilibrium. In equilibrium means the sum of the three vectors or the sum of the three forces are zero. The resultant is zero. Let's draw the condition of equilibrium. Let me use another diagram. I have P, Q, R. I can consider the equilibrium as this, as follows. The sum of P and R, the resultant of P and R, is opposite and of the same magnitude as the third vector Q. And this way, they are in equilibrium. So let me do the sum of P and R. To find the sum of two vectors, I use the parallelogram method. So draw a parallelogram. This, this is the parallelogram. The diagonal is the sum of P and Q. This is the diagonal. This is the sum. And this is equal and opposite to vector Q. That makes the three vectors in equilibrium. And then the question is to find, because the magnitudes are not given, the question is to find what is the ratio of the magnitudes of the three vectors. We want to find the ratio. Okay. Let's draw the triangle here, which is just half of the parallelogram. Now, in this triangle, I have this R vector, I have this uh, P vector, and the resultant is the same as the Q vector, except it's in this opposite direction. But that is the directions here are not important, because in this triangle, what I'm going to use is a sign law. The sign law only deals with magnitude. OK, let's do that, sign law. P P over P over sign angle here, P over this angle. Now, the given relation is to 150 degrees here and 160 degree here. So this is 150 degree. And because this angle is 60, therefore this angle, the angle between Q and R in this red color triangle, this is 120. So P over sine 120.
is equal to Q over this angle. What is this angle now? Look at the parallelogram. This angle should be this angle. But the angle between P and R is 150. And we already mentioned this is 120. Therefore, this is 30. So this is 30 degrees. Then sine law says R over R is this over sine this sine this angle. Now we already determined this is 120, this is 30, so this has to be 30 because 30 plus 30 plus 120 is 180. So this angle is 30. One twenty, thirty, and thirty are all special angles. So we know what sine value is. So we write down the sine value. One twenty degree is in the second quadrant. In the second quadrant, sine is positive, and sine one twenty is exactly sine 60. Here, sine 120 is equal to sine 60. We used a formula. Sine, this formula, general formula, is 180 minus theta. Sine 180 minus theta is equal to sine theta. There is a formula like this, and we use this formula to get sine 120 equals sine 60. Because sine 60 is sine bracket 180 minus 60. And 180 minus 60 is 120. So that's why sine 130 is equal to sine 60. You can write out this uh, yourself and see, uh, see the result. So continue. Sine 60 is root 3 over 2. Sine 30 is 1 over 2. From this, it's easy to find out what is the ratio of P to Q to R. It's just a rule 3 to 1 and to 1, you see? How do you see that? 
you can consider this way. You multiply this by 2, you multiply this by 2, you multiply this by 2, therefore the ratio is root 3, 1, 1. That's the answer. And this is the answer we want to find, what is the ratio of the three magnitudes. Look at the original condition. This is the original given condition. We have gone through all the argument here and get this result. There is one theorem which gives us the answer very quickly. Look, the theorem says that P over sine this angle is equal to Q over sine this angle is equal to R over sine this angle. So this, uh, I need to uh, erase something. Let's see. OK, I only need to erase the denominator because I still have PQR to do. A simple way is to say that P over P over the angle between the other two forces, 60, sine 60. Q over this angle, 150. R over this angle, 150. You can write this relation right away from the diagram, and you get the results right away. Because sine 50 is the same as sine 30, sine 150 is the same as sine 30. So if you start from that, you get an answer right away. You don't need the uh, sine law. Uh, this is sine law. This is similar to sine law. But there is another name. This is called Lemmy's theorem. Uh, let me write down the theorem itself. The theorem says If three forces acting on a particle, understand that forces is the same as vectors. Three forces acting on a particle, it's this diagram. Three forces, P, Q, R, acting on a particle.
What is the result of three forces acting on a particle? The result is that the particle is in equilibrium. The particle is not moving. That means the three forces add up to zero. Or you can say the resultant is zero. Under this condition, the three forces Under this condition, the three forces are proportional to the sine of the angle between the other two. Other two what? Other two forces. Let, let me explain using this diagram. The three forces, P, Q, R, are proportional to the sine of the angle between the other two. P is proportional to sine 60 degree. That this is the angle between other two forces. R is proportional to sine 150. Q is proportional to sine 150. So this is called Temi's theorem. Using Temi's theorem, you make the work simpler then without using the Temi theorem. Okay, thank you. And this is the lesson I want to talk about today. Thank you for watching. And I will see you next lesson. Goodbye.